All right, welcome to Teaching the Tools number four. This is the arrow, the prayer arrow, the IDP arrow. This is really our tool for praying for other people um, in kind of a systematic way. It's really helpful. I've used it a lot, and um, and I still use it, and it's just it's a great training, uh, memorable piece that helps us pray well for other people. So Jody talked through it, and I'm assuming that you have already watched Jody's video. This video is going to be shorter because Jody really did a lot of the heavy lifting. So the video that your huddle is watching this week, the uh, the praying for others video, make sure you watch that as well because all this content's the same. The problem is that the five steps as they are are not necessarily memorable, and it's easy to forget them. And so we call this the I, I sometimes call it the IDP arrow. Sometimes I even draw it like this, right? It's the IDP arrow, and uh, and what it is. So is P is at the end there. P for pray. So just ask yourself this question: Do you pray? Do you pray? And you're like, yeah, I do pray. So I do pray. I do pray. And so these match, these match, and this matches. If you're a uh, Greco-Hebrew uh, scholar, you'd be like, oh, this is a chiasm. If you don't care about that, then don't worry about it. But, uh, but this is a memory technique that helps us remember things. So these match, and these match, and these match, both in terms of the words and also kind of in terms of what's happening. All right? So the very first step, as, uh, as Jody talked about it, the first step is interview. Interview, all right? And so the, the very first thing we're going to do, when somebody comes up and they say, let's say you're working a prayer team, right? You're up front um, after, after church on a Sunday, and you're there, and somebody comes forward and they say, man, I, I got this stuff going on, and they just start going through it. Your first job is to interview them. Don't interrupt. I does not stand for interrupt, right? Uh, you're, just, uh, you're just trying to get it out of them. Like, what's going on? What is, what is happening? What is it that you're looking for? And uh, the next step is to diagnose. Now, diagnose is not like a mental, you're not saying, oh, well, your problem is this. What you're saying is, this is what I'm going to pray for. So the million dollar question that Jody talked about right here is, what are you asking God for right now? And so uh, we're going to interview, we're going to diagnose, and then we're going to pray. And all the stuff that we talked about is true. Like pray with our eyes open. We're actually praying. We, we use the phrase in, in huddle, we say two eyes open, right? I'm praying. Uh, I'm, I've got one eye on you and one eye on what God's doing. And so this this piece is kind of the, the crux of where everything is happening. This is what we're trying to happen, trying to make happen. So we're going to interview, we're going to diagnose, we're going to pray, then we're going to debrief. Debrief. Hey, what was happening? What were you feeling? What were you thinking? Did, did um, you know, where are you at right now? And then the last thing that we do is we instruct. This does not mean that you get to be all of a sudden their college professor and you're, in, you're their instructor. What it means is that you're giving people a next step. And the next step might be go in peace, right? Uh, keep remembering that God loves you. Or it might be, hey, here's a next step that you might take. We've got this class that's really useful. Hey, I want you to get plugged into a small group. I want you to, hey, you know, whatever it is. Hey, just a lot of times the, the instruction is, hey, come back next week. Just keep coming. Keep coming. God's doing something in your life. Keep cooperating with him. So this is the IDP arrow, I, D, P, I, D, P. I do pray, I do pray. <clears throat> and then um, as long as we can keep that in mind, it actually becomes pretty straightforward. I'm going to interview people, I'm going to diagnose, I'm going to pray, I'm going to debrief, and I'm going to instruct. And so that um, simple structure becomes an easy way for us to remember, uh, it's just kind of an easy mnemonic memory device for us to remember the five-step prayer model that, uh, that we talked through in the other video. So your, your group will already have watched the video. I recommend that in your time, you draw this just like this and just fill it in. Like, let's say, okay, what do you guys remember about this interview thing? And, and um, see, let them put the pieces back together. Okay, then, then put your D here. Does anybody remember what the second step is? Diagnose, that's right. What, what, what's diagnosis? Tell, walk me through that in your own words. And then, hey, we're going to pray, we're going to debrief, and we're going to instruct. And so let everybody walk through filling that in, in for themselves. Have everybody draw it out for themselves. And then the last thing I would do is I would actually spend a little bit of time um, 
uh, I hate to say fake praying because if you're going to pray, you might as well really pray, right? But uh, but even though it might be awkward, uh, you could role role play, role role pray uh, your way through it. So wh- well, who's got something that we could talk about? Like who's got something that really needs prayer? Okay, you get somebody in, in your group and say, okay, let's let's talk through it. Here's this is how the interview would go. Okay, how would we diagnose? Let's diagnose. Like that, spend some time on it. You've got uh, you've got time. It's an easy tool. It's it's really not hard to understand, and so you'll do well to actually give people some reps in terms of actually praying for each other. One of the things that we consistently see is that um, of all of the things of Christian leadership, this is the thing that 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 stops people the most. People get stressed about praying for other people. You think, well, how hard? You know, if you're if you've been a Christian for a while, you go, well, how hard can it be? I mean, I got it. But for a lot of people, this is the number one hang-up of anything else. Is like, don't make me pray in public, all right? And so if we can overcome that fear and we can say, okay, God, no, I'm, I'm here and we're going we're gonna to meet with you through prayer, even if we're in the middle of a restaurant, even if we're at church, even if we're at my kid's soccer game, whatever it is, I can meet with God and you in prayer at this time. That just becomes a huge thing for unlocking people's ability to put their faith and their trust in God and be bold no matter where they are. So teach the arrow, use the arrow, remember the arrow, and uh, I'll see you next time.